the first thing we'll do is place the indicator into the indicator stand. So I'll put the indicator stand on its back and I'm going to center the indicator, the center of it right between the two jaws and I'm going to point the indicator stem straight up. Once I've done that I'll hold the indicator down firmly and tighten up the screw and the clamps. Then I can stand it back up. Now I'll grab the primeware body and you'll notice there's a set screw here and put it down on top of the indicator stem. The indicator needle is sticking up quite a ways so we want to zero the top of this much closer to the bottom of the tip. Now the tip is this very end portion right here. This tip on here is just screwed on so just understand that we're talking about this end portion here. What I want to do is use my hex wrench and I want to get the top of the primeware body just beneath where the tip comes to the indicator needle here. So I'm going to grab one of my collars and I'll, I like to use the number one because it has the largest flat area on the top of it and I'm going to press that indicator needle or plunger down until it's flat with the top of the primeware body. I'm going to use one hand to hold that flat while I look through here and I'm going to line that needle up with the closest zero. So I'm going to loosen this primeware body and I'm going to bring the whole assembly, the body and the collar, while I'm pressing the plunger down flat, I'm going to bring that up until it's lined up very close to my zero. And then I'm going to tighten that set screw in the primeware body. So as you can see here, we're pretty close. But we're not exactly dead on. So now that I've got the body tightened up in the correct location, I'm going to loosen the thumb screw down in the lower left hand corner and I'm going to turn the dial face so that it's perfectly zeroed. Once you've completed this, you've zeroed your primeware analog. Now you can start to measure cases. Here we have a primed 223 case. So I would select the number one collar because that is the collar that matches the 223 base diameter, or rim diameter, and insert it into the top. And as you see, we have a reading of negative two thousandths. So that means this primer is two thousandths beneath flush. Here we have an unprimed 223 case. So let's measure the primer pocket. So this primer pocket reads out at 21 on the negative side. So again, we know we are beneath flush from the base of the case. And because this dial has a hundred thousandths per revolution, we know that we add 100 to that number. So this primer pocket is 121 thousandths deep. So we'll go ahead and measure this on the primeware digital, which is accurate to one ten thousandth of an inch. And we see a 120 and six ten thousandths. So that's very close to the 121 that we were reading on the analog. When you're finished, you can store your collars in the top of the indicator stand. The primeware analog also has the capability to measure primer thickness. So if we balance a primer on the top and grab one of our collars, we can push the primer down flat and we see here that we're getting a reading of 126 thousandths, 126 and maybe two ten thousandths. To install your primeware body on the digital version of the primeware, you put the body on and just push it down until it stops and tighten the set screw. To zero the primeware digital, 
Once the body is installed, you press the collar down flat on the top and click the zero button. With the Primeware Digital, you can link the indicator using Bluetooth to a smartphone or tablet and you can take measurements on a nice large display. The instructions on how to do this are included with the indicator.